Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. It's Spal facing Milan. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Looking forward to a bright, lively start in this one. Quick tempo. Who can be the dominant force in the first 20 minutes? They could get the upper hand in this one. And the game begins. Well, let's take stock of the Spal starting 11. Wing backs are important in this setup. Did you enjoy your experience of playing at wing back, Lee? Not at all under Bruce Rock. It's a very, very demanding role, as we can see. The full backs are exposed both offensively and defensively. Lots of support inside them, but going forward, they need to try and get the ball into the box for the two up front. It's there for him. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. And that will be a corner. He's driven in the corner. Fisted clear. And it has to be. Ben Asser. Samu Castillejo. Whatever it takes to keep them out. Murgia, Federico Di Francesco, Petania. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. Tremendous ball played through. Well, visionary passing. Is it going to be? Goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe he's kept that out of the net. Absolutely amazing. And firing it into the area. Well, he failed to get it away properly. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Useful looking ball. The first goal of the match, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. It's taken a while, but the pressure has taken its toll. Well, the coaches will tell you pass the ball how you would like to receive it. Perfectly weighted, and he finished it off brilliantly. Well, let's have another view of that goal. So the game has been restarted. It's Milan in front here. Samu Castillejo. Now Samu Castillejo. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Moving the ball nicely, looking for... He takes aim. Tremendous block. Now you've got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. Chalanoru, wonderful block. D'Alessandro. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And he was in the right place to intercept. Incisive play, Ibrahimovic. He's in behind the defence here. Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited.
Well, you could be critical of the defending, but let's focus on the great play. Capped off with a superb, calm, calculated finish. A chance to revisit the goal. It's going their way, 2-0. It's with Romagnoli. Milan's possession stats are brilliant. If you have that much of the ball, you can put pressure on the opposition defence. And they look like they're creaking. That's why they're winning comfortably. My oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. And very deftly cut out. Chalanolu. Kessie. It's with Romagnoli. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of Ibrahimovic. And that shot from seemingly miles out. Close. Well, he got too much space and he thought, why not? Why not shoot from here? And there it is, the half-time whistle. And the game... Really tense battle so far. And now the second half is underway. Ibrahimovic. Kea. They've given it away. Murgia. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. And he has been ruled offside here. Can't have been by an awful lot. Oh, I'm not so sure, but the linesman's got a better view than I have. It's with Chalhanolu. Samu Castillejo. Chalhanolu making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Well, visionary passing. And he has just veered into an offside position this time. Substitution time it is. It's with Chalhanolu. Benassa. Kessier. Staunch rear guard action. Over the touchline for a throw-in. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Kessie has it. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Half an hour remaining then. Losing possession here. Tremendous ball played through. Ibrahimovic! Can they slot it home? High pressing at its best. Well, everybody, including myself, is asking how that didn't go in. And this time, it's in! to question the defending there they're all around him they think they've got him but nobody takes the ball off him in the end too late balls in the net well the goal again albeit from a different angle the ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match And 
and it crossed the byline. A goal kick as a result. An important interception. And he's made headway. It could be up for grabs. And he's headed it in! Well, here's the replay. I never liked rebound goals off goalkeepers. The defenders should be there. Probably would have been my fault. On that occasion, his defenders went missing. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Hernandez. Benassa. Kea. Kessier. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. And putting his body on the line. D'Alessandro. Well, you've got to try to make it a bit more difficult. For you. It's there for him. It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. Wow, what technique. When the ball comes to you and you don't need a touch and you can just whack it first time like this. What a goal. A chance to revisit the goal. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Tanya. Nice and easy for the keeper. Teo Hernandez. Rebic has it. It's with Chalanolu. Benassa. Giving the ball away. D'Alessandro. The ball with Petania. Not a particularly strong challenge. Well, he was just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be, a fraction. And it was so close. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Benassa. Kessier has it. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Genuinely thought they might cash in on that occasion, but haven't been able to do so. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Teo Hernandez. It's with Chalanolu. Conti. Chalanolu. Every pass hitting its target. And there! 